And now we go back to Nakuru County, where I understand that um, Evans Asiba is at Kaptembwa Primary School in Nakuru County. Evans Asiba, uh, what's the situation like? I understand that, uh, not I understand, it's now 11 minutes past 8 o'clock. Uh, the examination is supposed to start at 8.30. What can you tell us from that area? Yeah, Sam, uh, so I would like to put it out here at uh, Kaptemba Primary School. Kaptemba Primary School uh, is uh, just next to Heshima Primary School. The Heshima Primary School, where they will be having at least uh, around uh, that uh, Heshima Primary School, there will be uh, 176 candidates uh, who will be sitting for the EDCS examination. Also, at the Kaptemba Primary School, uh, the, we have uh, 205 candidates. Uh, at, uh, the, at the same same for centers, we have uh, private students uh, uh, who will be sitting for the same paper uh, that's uh, the uh, 47 in total uh, I'll have an interview it just allow us with the uh, uh, region commissioner uh, Mr. Chimago just to share with us uh, the update of uh, happenings uh, in Akuru County uh, and uh, entire of, uh, Rift Valley was happening uh, currently. Yes uh, sir join us on our uh, live program currently we understand that we are at uh, Captain Premier School. Yeah. Uh, how is the progress? I, any, any minute from now you should be uh, definitely kicking off uh, initial examination. Yeah, we are at Kaptemba Primary School. Uh, this is uh, an, uh, one of your biggest uh, exam centers uh, for Nakuru County and the region by extension. Uh, we have two joint schools here. Uh, one is Heshima Primary with about 176 candidates. Then we have uh, Kaptemba Primary which is uh, just adjacent here uh, with 205 and then within this same centre, we have uh, some private private candidates, about 47 of them. So it's one of our biggest centres because of the numbers. And uh, so far, everything is smooth. Uh, what is going on right now is frisking of the candidates as they get they get back to uh, to their their classrooms and to take up the positions. We were just addressing them a few minutes ago and uh, they seem upbeat and ready for the exam. So, so far since uh, early morning, we haven't had any major incidents. Maybe just one delivery uh, candidate uh, in one of the counties delivered around 4 a.m. And uh, she should be ready to sit for the exam by, by now. And uh, we don't have any other major issue. This issue of, uh, maybe you have just uh, brought up the issue of uh, the candidate who has just uh, delivered. Uh, from which county and uh, specific school, maybe, if you can share with us? Mm, that is Nandi County. Yeah, Tinderate specifically. Mm. Uh, and also, I'll have an interview with the uh, regional uh, coordinator in charge of education here in Rift Valley. Just, uh, uh, Madam, just uh, share with us, uh, we understand about uh, three, four students uh, who, are red, who are in uh, the hostel, uh, different uh, hostels here at uh, Nakuru Level 5 hostel and uh, another one in uh, Vika. Uh, how is the progress? Have you maybe, are you going to give them the examination? Uh, yes, we are reaching all candidates wherever they are. The three of them that are in Nakuru. We have already organized for them to have the examination. Uh, the one also in uh, level five in Dika, we have organized for that. And as the regional commissioner has told you, even the one in Tidoret who has given birth this morning, we shall also give her the examinations. We will ensure that all candidates registered will do the examinations wherever they are. And as you can see, we are working closely with all the, uh, the Minister of Interior and all others to ensure that all land smoothly. We understand that uh, some of uh, the candidates are uh, the, our GK prison. How many are they and uh, are they going to just kick off the examination, right, Ayora? We have quite a number in various counties in this region that are in the GK prisons. And all of them, uh, as usual, we have organized for invigilators. We have taken the examination to them. They will start off together with all the rest in the country. Yes. Uh, Sam, as you have heard uh, from uh, the both officials uh, sharing with us uh, what's happening in the entire county and uh, not just only here in Akuru, but uh, the entire of uh, Rift Valley is uh, uh, highlighting the issue of uh, Nandi, that's a uh, Tinderet uh, Primary School where the candidate has, uh, I'm told, uh, uh, they give birth at around uh, four. Uh, not quite sure uh, the gender of uh, the baby, but uh, the point is uh, he lost, uh, she will be doing the paper uh, anytime uh, as uh, the National examination kicks off, uh, and uh, even those who are the hostels, uh, I'm also told that, that all 
care of, taken care of and uh, everything is smooth in Nakuru and the entire Rift Valley. Uh, from Nakuru, back to your studio, I'm Evans Sasiba. All right, thank you so much, uh, Evans Sasiba, for that, and good luck to the uh, candidates, especially those in hospital, and that one that has given birth in Tinderet. Wish them well in this um, season that they see the examination in quite some special circumstances. Yep. Now we have, uh, uh, we'll take a look at another story now. In January this year, no, then we want to take a break. We, such as demands, to end the No, let's take I'm a break. I'm a break, break. All right, Debrek takes a short break, but you can tweet us at Citizen TV Kenya at uh, Samgituku, at Willis Raburu, at yes. Joy underscore Muthengi. Yes. The hashtag news is um, Debrek. There's someone who is dating me, they're telling me. Let me just read it because I think it's interesting. Um, just a moment, Raburu, so that uh, we take that very short break and the internet is failing me because. <laughs> IT! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, maybe it was not supposed to be read. So we take a short break on every turn. We have that Jesus. particular story. Now someone says, John Waitera, I want to be in the news. Can you discuss me? <laughs> John Waitera. John Waitera consider yourself disgusted. <laughs> 